I'm not gonna lie. Not excited to be filming this video, but we need to talk about this. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Carson and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to Sam Smith's new music video for I'm Not Here To Make Friends. Now I heard this music video had a lot of controversy surrounding it. I saw some stuff on TikTok that really infuriated me. So I thought that it would be good to sit down, film my reaction and talk about the controversy a little bit. Now with that out the way, let's jump into the reaction. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Gonna RuPaul get quote. Here. Okay. Oh my god. Hold on. How is Sam Smith not dying from the weight of that dress? I could not wear that and like walk. You know what I mean? It looks like it's so heavy. It looks so heavy. I don't know what to, like, what? They got some gains. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, nails. Ooh, okay, looks. Wow. Sam Smith looks so good and so happy in this music video. Is that why people are upset? Are they just upset that like, Sam's happy? I mean, I'm just saying, but I think I'm starting to get a sense as to what people are upset about. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, so this is about Sam dressing femininely, isn't it? Isn't it? I swear to God. <laughs> so I am an AFAB non-binary person and Sam is an AMAB non-binary person. And I've noticed there's a difference in the way that AFAB non-binary people and AMAB non-binary people are treated in their identity. Mainly what I see is that people expect AFABs to be girl light, and then with AMABs it's okay, but you cannot show anything that is feminine because then that's a problem. If Demi Lovato or Halsey or any other non-binary singer were to go out like that and do a music video like this, People would not have a problem. People would not care because they're still feeding into the femininity that society loves. But because this is Sam Smith, a AMAB non-binary person, probably one of the biggest AMAB non-binary people out there, people are having a hard time with it because it's it goes against their perceptions. It goes against this idea of masculinity. Sam doesn't subscribe to because they're not binary. What the heck? I think more people need to realize that Sam wearing feminine clothing has no impact on their lives. Like genuinely, the world isn't ending because Sam Smith wore a corset. Whoa. Shocking, I know. But you know what is a problem? Transphobia, people in the American government trying to take away the right to have gender affirming care from trans people that are legal adults. This isn't about protecting children. This is about them controlling other people and taking away their right to medical informed decision-making and autonomy. This is not okay. And I have a lot of thoughts. I'm all over the place about it. And I don't want to get emotional because I've already cried enough these last few days. I'm, I'm good. Like personally, I'm good. But I think it is really important that we take a second to just say it for what it is. People need to wake up and realize that forcing other people to live like them is not okay. If you think that trans people doing what they medically can for themselves, only on themselves, to make themselves happier is somehow worse than all of the transphobia we have seen over generations, I urge you to actually take a hard look in the mirror and ask yourself why. I'm non-binary. I'm lucky that I don't live in America right now, but you know what? I worry for people who I know who are dealing with this shit right now. It might be hard to face that you might be a bigot, that you might actually be harming people by your actions. Coming from someone who's been there, it is so easy to take accountability, to grow and change, and to learn. It's very easy. All you gotta do is shut up and listen to us because we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh 
my God, I might have just answered the question. Okay. You know what? Something I'm also realizing is that there's a lot of similarities between this music video and the Unholy music video, and it's that queer people are front and center. The dancing, the moves, the way it's shot, the way that the men and the women and the non-binary people all in this video are expressing themselves comes off very queer. And I love it! Wow, I really enjoyed that music video. I genuinely do not see why this is so goddamn controversial. Maybe at the end when Sam's riding on the car, you know, maybe get in the car and wear a seatbelt, promote car safety. Go off about that if you want to, that's fine. Um, but this just seems like the controversy based off what little I know, it's that people are just upset that an AMAB person with the unstereotypical AMAB body is presenting femininely. That's what it looks like to me. And people really need to just get over themselves. People need to stop trying to create laws to impede on other people's medical decisions. And you know what we all just need? We all just need to waddle on. Look at this photo, look at this duck, okay? Waddle on. You see something you don't like, waddle on. Do you wanna say something transphobic? Waddle on, because guess what? No one wants to hear it. And to any AMAP non-binary person watching this video, I hope that Sam Smith's video here and this video has helped you feel seen in a way. I know that for me as an AFAB non-binary person, there's so much representation for me because people can accept it. And by accept it, I mean they don't really accept it, but they can see me as girl enough for their liking. And AMAP people don't necessarily have that shield. So hopefully by me talking about it, it brings some awareness to it. Hopefully we can see more AMAB non-binary people on the YouTube space. I would love to check out some AMAB creators. If you know any, please share them in the comments down below. With that being said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. If you want more from me, including my poetry, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All of those are at Carson Bodie. If you want to support me in creating more content like this, I have a merch store at carsonscreatives.com. And I also have a poetry book, ironically about me coming out as non-binary. It's called Requiem, a collection of poetry, and all of the Amazon links for every international store it's available in is in the description down below. Now, I gotta go because it's my dinner time. <laughs> and I will see you with another reaction video very soon. Bye.